this is a series of our Mr. Rapidan patterns. This started in a college class I had at Lord Fairfax many years ago. Two of the older anglers said, Harry, try to come up with a fly that looks like many of the natural insects that floats well and one that we can see on the surface. Well, that was the beginning of the Mr. Rapidan. The yellow wing obviously is for us to see it. But I use moose body hair, which floats like a cork. I used uh, fly right, which is a negative density, which floats. And in doing that, they also wanted me to come up with something that would look like some of our early season insects. Well, if you look at the body on this, and you look at the body of the natural Eplis pluralis mayfly, which is the first one, the one in the old days we used to call Quill Gordon, and then also look at the body of the March Brown, Stenonym of Icann, you'll see that the body on these two dry flies are almost identical to the body of those naturals. So the first one we had, thanks to those two gentlemen in my college class, was the Mr. Rapidan standard dry fly. A few years later, I did the parachute. I particularly like the way a parachute floats, but that does match the first two mayflies we have. Now, something tricky goes on with this Eplis pluralis mayfly, the first mayfly we have coming off in these mountain streams in the east. Whether you're in the Adirondacks or whether you're down the Smokies, the first significant thing is the Eplis pluralis, the old Quill Gordon, if you will. That guy lives in the riffles on the downstream side of the riffles, on the downstream side of the flat rocks. When he gets ready to hatch, he's going to crawl to the flat side of it, and away he comes. This is a very important part of the life cycle of the Eplis pluralis, the old quill gourd. When that fly comes off the bottom, we'll say the nymph, when the nymph comes off the bottom, he heads for the surface of the stream to hatch into the adult, with his wings out. You can see just a very hint of his wing in there. He's one of the few mayflies that does that. So I call that the Mr. Rapidan Emerger. We use that in a sort of a jigging, lifting motions as if that guy is going to fly right up to the surface and pop and away to go. The soft hackle I added just recently because a lot of people want to face some of the bigger streams and use that as a slow pumping action. The Mr. Rapidan ant, that was Jeff's idea because we were doing well on most of these free sown streams with just plain old ants, and we couldn't see the black ant to save our life, and Jeff suggested putting a yellow wing on it. So that guy inherited a yellow wing, and that's the one we call our Mr. Rapidan ant. The major hatches on that would start in Virginia, with the Epis pluralis in the middle of March. By the end of March, the, the Epis pluralis is coming. So you'll have those on the water. The first five of those will be on the water from the middle of March and down to the tail end of April because the Stenonym of Icarium, the March Brown, will be on the water till the end of April. So you can't go wrong on, that, on those flies in eastern streams. And again, this applies when we go down and fish with Jimmy Mills in North Carolina, go up and fish Arctic water in, in the Catskills and the Adirondacks, it applies there. Of course, the northern hatches are going to be a little bit later than ours. The southern hatches are going to be a little bit earlier than they are.